even though affirmative action has been de-emphasized in recent years, the promotion of diversity in the workforce is both ethical and a managerial necessity. There are three factors to consider. Let's take a look. First, does the agency provide an environment compatible with diversity through its promotion processes and organizational culture? A department that insists on standard working hours, does not provide childcare assistance, and subtly penalizes leaves of absence for family reasons, does not create a subtle atmosphere for employee parents. Such issues might be subtle, but attention to them is critical if an optimally productive diverse environment is to be created and maintained. Second, is there a conscious attempt to maintain a well-rounded workforce so that no group, including white males, has a legitimate complaint? Although the public sector has generally done better than business in this regard, many workplaces are still negligent or lax in promoting diversity successfully. Third, there should be awareness that where and how recruitment takes place will have an effect on diversity in the workplace.